Well guys, it's 7.04, Thanksgiving morning. Uh, hope everybody has a good turkey day here later on. But on the trap line day, it's not looking like it was yesterday. We're on the last stop of the first piece here. I think yesterday we had eight on this piece. This is our first coon. We got this nice possum with them, but it's kind of a kind of a rough start, but you know, I don't expect many days like yesterday. It was really good, and in the 53, but if I can, you know, I'd really like to get to 34. That, that'll get us right at 700. But either way, this one gets us to be 667, so we're off the unlucky number. Maybe things will start to turn around. Now we got us a 220 coon here, just going up to cut corn. Uh, you can actually see the trail right here. I had it set up underneath that kind of brushy stuff. But just winds right up into the cornfield. Nice to be catching a few at least. I think this is number three, but we're just getting started. We're gonna have to stop about 10.30, go to my in-laws Thanksgiving for a few hours, then we'll finish up tonight. Hopefully it's not too dark, but I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of it. We're gonna be running at night. Oh boy. I think this is the third one in this location. And he's pointing that sucker at me too, but you know, I, I'm happy to see skunks, but at the same time we're in a hurry and Sometimes dispatching these things takes a little time so you don't rush it and end up getting sprayed or anything, so Still happy to see him. It's kind of a slow start. I mean, we're on all the old ground yet, but I think we got four or five in the truck, so Not exactly a great morning, but still we're pushing through her All right guys, here we are. We didn't catch anything here uh, My dog proof was knocked over and empty So I just refilled it <clears throat> But if you look real close, if I can get down here there is canine tracks all around this. And, you know, I'm not one of those guys that could sit here and say that's a that's a juvenile fox or that's a you know three-year-old coyote, but <clears throat> I believe them to be fox. I've got a lot of fox in the area, and I know <clears throat> I think that happens quite a bit. Excuse me. <clears throat> I think it happens quite a bit that you know these fox or even coyotes will find these suckers, knock them over, and eat what's in them. You know, yeah, I've caught several fox and dog proofs now, but it's not the common thing. It doesn't happen very often. But just to show you, you know, if I were to put a foothold or something here, I'd have a good shot of picking something else up. You know, it, it's one of those things, you know, I, I'm missing some fur by restricting the dog proofs on a lot of this, but it is what it is. I can't set a foothold at every single location either, just like I couldn't put a dog proof at every single location. You know, you, you pick your trap of choice at your location and you deal with it, you know, one way or another. Here, you know, I definitely, definitely missed what I believe to be a fox. I don't think it's big enough for a coyote. It's only just a little bit bigger than a quarter size track. So, anywho, I just want to show you that, that, you know, I love this cat food stuff for coons, but I still miss fur too. Everybody has stuff walking past their sets at some point, I believe. You know, this isn't some magic bait that's going to catch every single thing that comes past it. I believe several possums and even coon will either walk past it or tip it over and eat it out from the ground. You know, it's just one of those things and you have to understand that and deal with that, that you're not going to catch every single thing that passes by. Alright guys, here we are on that freshest piece of the line that we got out. We just started it, I think yesterday we went like... 10 coon for 12 traps or 8 coon for 10 traps something like that until we kind of hit a, a dead area but nice big coon nice dark one here with his buddy probably one of the smaller possums that I catch on the line but anywho it's good to see some good sign of life the sun's out I'm getting hungry which is good we got some nice coon here with just you know same thing as always nice timber little crick system down here and cut corn behind me we've actually got a 220 down here where their trail is but the grass is so knocked down everywhere I've actually got tracks crossing the road of them just randomly through here so it kind of sucks it's tough you know running 220s right now but nice coon we'll get him taken care of get down the road we got about another hour of running and then I got to go home get cleaned up go to the in-laws Thanksgiving and then we'll run the rest of them afterwards got us a nice big boy here this is a uh, actually can't tell but he's blind in his right eye I actually see that quite often I don't know if it's from sticks or fighting or what but 
He is blind in his right eye. Anywho, this is that spot where I always said it looked really good, but I hadn't been catching a lot of stuff on stuff like this. But today we got double. We got Coon over on the air side that's down deep in the culvert. He actually must have got to the trap when it's in the water, so it's picking up a little bit, but we got a hustle. We got places to be. We got a pretty nice one here, boys. Just going up here to corn. I mean, it's up there ways, but we're hustling today. We got about six more stops to check, and I got to be at Thanksgiving about oh, an hour and a half, and I got about a 30 minute drive home, and still got to get cleaned up, so we're getting there. Here's a nice trail going up a drainage here, guys. Trail goes up over the bank. If you look, oh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, right there. No. Yeah, my muskrat stretcher's down there somewhere, but anyway, we got a nice coon. Looks like a big one flopped right off to the side like he's supposed to. So I'm always happy to see that working right. Just a nice trail coming up. We caught one here yesterday, so this will be the last stop of the day, or this morning. We're going to go to the Thanksgiving and then get everything else checked afterwards. I'm sure I'll be full and miserable and about 10 pounds heavier, but that's what the day is all about. We just got back on the line, guys, in the first stop. We got a nice coon down here in the 220 again. Just coming up the trail right here. It's about 2.30. I really need to hustle, get this done before dark. But after what I just ate, there's no hustle in me right now at all. I am ready for a nap and I am beat. A lot of food, but anywho, we're, you know, it's good to get back on the line and start picking up fur. Hopefully I can burn off at least a couple thousand calories of this 10,000 I probably just consumed, but anywho, good to see a nice coon in 220 down here. We got us a nice coon here, guys. Um, just going up this trail to a tree with corn behind it. It's kind of an unusual setup I just wanted to share with you guys. This ditch is full of cattails. I mean, all the way down through here, it's just full of cattails. And with that rain we had, I went and I remember I rebaited this one yesterday. This is its first catch, but that water is well past my knee for my hip boots I got on. It's, it's, it's up there. <laughs> so, you know, that trail went right across through it, right down through here. So these animals aren't afraid to just swim just to go down a trail. You know, I've had a couple guys say, oh yeah, a coon can swim, but they're only going to do it if they absolutely have to. Well, I mean, it, you know, this trail here, it's they're choosing to swim through it. So, anywho, nice, nice pick up another coon. I'm still pretty miserably full, but I'm not even sure what number this is, but it's, it's getting there, you know. It's not going to be a great day, but if we can come out of this with 25 or so, I'd be pretty happy with it. We got a saccoon here, guys, on that trail going up to the corn. I filmed this the other day because right over here I know I now know for a fact somebody else that trapped it but you know they didn't take everything out which is good I don't know how long they were here for but it's good to come in after somebody and still be catching some well here's a good sign this is that you know that I keep talking about that first part of the route I didn't get set until really late so this stuff's been out I'm gonna say probably close to 10 days now and this is actually the first pair of coon on them, so uh, if you look close, you can actually see the trail going right up to the corn up here. But really nice pair I'm happy with. You know, some of these spots, guys, it's patience. Some of it, you know, it's, it won't produce the whole time, but if the sign's there, I'm going to set on it for sure. There's definitely a lot of fox in the area this year. Uh, I actually caught this fox in both snares. It looks like I had two of them set up on this trail, so... Just this fence row coming down to corn behind me. We actually just caught those last two raccoon right down here. So nice fox, I'll take him. We got us a decent one here. This is that fence line. Well, actually, it's just kind of power poles run into a fence line that runs behind me. But if you can tell, the shadows are getting long. We probably only got another 45 minutes daylight left and probably another 20 stops. So we're trying to push through and get done for dark. I hate running traps in the dark. Things get pretty sketchy, gets a lot more dangerous, just not something I really like to do. Well, the last stop, we got a coon, so that's always exciting. And a possum, but kind of a unique coon. He's a really, really dark guy. You don't see a whole lot of them this dark around here, but anyway, we beat dark. You know, it's technically probably sunset right now, but 
at least we're not checking in the dark I know I'm going to be here as soon as I start my work line. I'll be starting running traps about 3 in the morning, which, you know, have to go a lot slower, have to be a lot more careful. It's a lot more dangerous for sure. So, anywho, we'll get him taken care of and get headed home. Not sure what our count was. Way less than yesterday. I'm going to guess probably not quite half. I'm saying probably about 20, 25, somewhere in there. So, anyway, I'm still okay with it. Still a decent day, just not the big day like I was hoping for. Absolutely gorgeous sunset guys. I love seeing stuff like this. That's why I do what I do. I love being outdoors. Alright guys, we just got home. We ended up with 22 coon and a fox. So, good day. It is an absolutely gorgeous sunset. You know, I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving with your family. Um, you know, be thankful, guys. You know, we, we get to hunt, we get to fish, we get to trap. We get to enjoy the outdoors. And, you know, for me, that's that's why I do this. There's no place I'd rather be than outside doing one of those three things. So, I'm going to get off here now, go spend some time with my family. Uh, I'm pretty sure my wife wants to put the Christmas tree up. but So, we got 22 coon. 22 on top of 66 so we're at 88 688 so i really hope we get more than 12 tomorrow to be past 700 but we're getting there guys i got about three more days till i go back to work but we're going to start condensing the line tomorrow start pulling some of the stuff that's not producing start wrapping it up a little bit hopefully be I'd like to be at 750 that'd be a new goal to get to by the time I go back to work and then I'll run a work line for about five days and then it's deer season and everything gets pulled for deer season so and then we'll just do some late season trapping so this is definitely the bulk of when I catch my fur is that first three weeks but we're getting there fellas so I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.